I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Windlands. Windlands is an intense, full locomotion VR game. Uh, basically, what that means is don't play Windlands as your first VR game. I'll be playing on PS4. Um, our V Copies game was provided by the developer. This is like, um, like a grappling hook sort of game. So I am playing it in VR, as you can probably tell from the wobbly, you know, me looking around. Um, it'll look a little weird because you're not controlling the motion, kind of like watching somebody else play an FPS. Uh, but uh, everything's perfectly stable from my perspective. I'm just kind of looking around. Um, so this game has really good options. Actually, we'll just start a new game and you'll see some of the accessibility options we have here. So first you can choose your difficulty. Easy difficulty lets you hook, hook onto anything. So you can basically climb however you want. Um, hard mode is parkour sections, extra parkour sections, I guess. Um, and normal is less parkour. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by the parkour bit. Um, and hook bushes only means you have to, well, you have to hook trees. You'll see what they mean soon. Um, hello, Parker. I can feel you, but I can't see you. Yes, hello. Um, just, just pretend there's a cat in this. Oh, no, he's this way now. Yes, I feel you. He... The, the scariest thing I experienced in VR so far is Parker bit my freaking leg while I was playing Thumper. Um, anyway, so the, it has this thing called comfort turning where turning is done in segments. Um, it's most comfortable for most people. We're going to play this the way you should not play your first VR game. I'm going to put all of the comfort options off, but it's really cool they have these. But it turns out I don't personally need them. So, control of strafing is disabled. Um, yeah, I think this means you move. You can move left and right, which we're gonna we're gonna do all. We're gonna do everything off. Oh, there's also a cage thing. Long ago, oh, story time. A great civilization rose. Sacred crystals were discovered deep underground and brought into the light. Mm -hmm. And using their power, the people built wonders. Grand constructions were undertaken and great titans created great sky cities. The Windlands. Yet soon would come a time of chaos. A dark star from the heavens descended and ripped the world asunder. Ripped the earth a new one. The cities and titans would fall and the Splat. crystals that power the world. So we're Link and we gotta find the Triforce. I mean, that's not the story, but that that's kind of the story. It's sort of noticeable that, you know, you can kind of tell there's some 2D cinematic mindset still in some stuff. So this might feel weird compared to what you normally um, see from a VR thing, but I can just move with the analog stick. Um, and you can even turn with the analog stick, which is, the turning is a bit more jarring than the Succeed moving, even. It's kind of surprising. Uh, this game does, it feels a teeny bit weird, but for the most part, um, especially if I move straight forward, I, I don't really get the motion sickness. Oh, this is not a good video. This will not be a good video for anybody with any kind of motion sickness, vertigo. Um, you should probably, you, you probably have already noticed that once I made the first jump. Um, but yeah, I, this is a kind of like, there is a bunch of options to make it more traditional VR, like comfortable stuff, like I said, but uh, I'm actually kind of amazed that I can play this game in pretty much normal, like as a normal gamepad controller game. And um, it's not really too rough. Uh oh, speaking of too rough, I thought I would find it more disorienting more when I fall. But, um, I guess my brain knows that, nah, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. Um, it's just a teeny bit weird, but, ah. I don't have, I do like that you can reset any time. I do like just resetting instead of falling. Oh, frick. Um, pff, I'm used to having the hooks at, at this point. The, using the hooks is a lot more fun than doing the platforming. Uh, this game, uh, the platforming feels a little weird. 
But the hooks are really the main thing, and we will get them very soon. See, I can see why... Let's actually... Before I forget, let's actually take a look at some of the options we have here. Um, comfort turning, show standing... And I am seated, so I'm just going to leave on seated mode. Um, so this is our comfort turning, which is, you know, preset angles. And um, I could, it feels a little less weird. I do have the strafing still on. We have the comfort cage sort of... It, it's sort of to emulate the idea that you're in a mech. And, um... Because I've seen some other games do that, where, like, Riggs does that. Um, also, shows standing, I think, is to, like, let you know where there's an edge. I guess it's those circles. I don't really know what that's for. I guess it's to let you feel out where you are. But uh, I don't personally need or use that stuff, so I turn that off. It's really cool that it has that. But uh, I'm just going to turn that off. Um, I'm not sure why strafing wasn't a, a part of that option menu. I do try to turn sort of as little as possible. Of a guardian. With these, okay. you shall explore this broken world. These so yeah, it is a grappling hook game. Which we now have the grappling hook for, finally. You aim with your face in VR, and um, you can sort of climb stuff like that. I'm not super the best. I've only played this game for... I played it for about a half hour last night. I wasn't really feeling up to recording, but um, I was... I really like it. I, um, like I said, I was expecting to get... I kind of expected and hoped, honestly, to get a little bit of nausea and, um, and you know, see how long it took me to overcome that. And I mean, a few games have made me feel a teeny bit weird. Um, uh -oh. There we go. You have kind of less control in the air than you might expect, but you do have a little bit of control. Um, it's mostly about swinging your hooks, I guess. If you wanted to be VR Spider-Man, this is your VR Spider-Man for now. There'll probably be an actual VR Spider-Man at some point. But, um, whoa. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You can't. You can't grab that. Okay. So like I said, you can... If you find the grappling stuff is too hard or whatever, you can um, you can grapple on anywhere and that makes it significantly easier. I haven't even tried that option, but uh, it's really cool that they let you. I think in in general, a lot of games really oh frick. A lot of games could implement accessibility options that really would not harm the main gameplay at all, but would help them be a lot more accessible. And so it's always good to see a game put in some nice accessibility options. Like, I tried it 4. Had some great ones, too. Uh, let's just get on top of the tree so we can jump. I really do like the... You really get the scale looking off the edges and stuff in VR. It's really nice. My voice might sound a little bit weird as I turn around my head. I think I am facing forward in terms of the microphone right now. You may yes. be wondering who I am or where I am. Truly, I am no one, and those who we are reside nowhere. The voice comes from within you, Guardian. Oh, hooray. Go. We're crazy. Your oh, we fulfilled their destiny too fast, and the dialogue cut out. So, oh, hello. Oh, it's a piece of the trifo- I mean, the crystal thing. This this grass looks like watermelon, by the way. I wish I had watermelon grass outside. I do still feel- You know what's funny? A crystal. Not all Dialogue is funny. So um... What was I saying? Oh, right, before I forget, this game's Unity, which, um, I was curious and slightly afraid to see how well a Unity VR game would perform on PS4, because Unity and PS4 haven't been the best of friends in terms of performance. But now nah, this game, I haven't had any frame the drop issues. Of these crystals shall open portals to new lands. You shall find the others lost among the ruins. Okie dokie. So, um... Yeah, I've been impressed with Unity. I think... 
I think Unity... I think the latest version is supposed to have a lot better performance on PS4. Um, I'm not a game dev, I don't know. I, I know Unity has had some problems, and I think they're working to address them. But, uh... Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised that this works just fine, even though it's Unity. Um... I was saying another thing, and now I forget the thing. What was I saying? Words. Hmm. Okay, I love... I love the sense of scale sometimes, and just the ability to peek over an edge. Um, you, I get a bit less of it because I'm playing seated, but uh, the game works alright. Um, I'm actually quite interested now. I, I, I figured, like, I, for the last year or so, I've been told that, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, traditional game controls don't work in VR, and you gotta, you gotta have something new. And then I played Riggs, and I was like, oh, well, maybe you just have to be in a mech. And then I played this, and I'm kind of like, oh. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's more intense, and, like, you know, you're gonna want some accessibility options, like the cage and stuff, but, uh, this worked a lot better than I had been led to believe. Um, I'm quite impressed. It just feels like playing a video game in good old VR. Um, where are we going? I guess we're going over there. I kind of always figured, before I started see hearing about how, oh, you know, VR has to be all different and everything. I kind of figured your brain would just, you know, get used to it, because, I mean, buttons are an abstraction. We we operate a lot of vehicles that have abstracted control methods um, in our daily lives, like, you know, a car. You know, the steering wheel doesn't really, you know, map one-to-one -to, -one to, you know... Stuff is kind of abstract, and humans kind of get used to that. There we go. These Jumps like that are kind of weird. Okie dokie. It's kind of weird how the subtitles, you gotta kind of look down for the subtitles. But yeah, this sound, uh, it was kind of weirded out for a while until I found out what that sound was. That sound indicates that there's one of those thingies nearby. Aw, rest in peace, buddy. Uh, so up here... I'm still getting used to VR, like, recording in VR. It's kind of, a, uh, it's its own thing. Like, to sit down and record stuff, or to not, just sit down and play. Um, not too much extra work, but, um, because I gotta record with my PC, I gotta move my mic, I gotta, there's a lot of stuff I gotta do to, um record VR, and that's kind of why I ended up not recording more VR stuff until now. I'm gonna try to, I'm starting to get back on, on the VR train and do stuff, because there's a lot of really cool stuff here already, and, um, I want to keep covering it, but, uh, but, uh, I don't know. Life is busy, that's what I'm trying to say. I feel a lot safe when I have to, like, jump. Also, an interesting thing, you can't move your up and down with the analog stick. I think that, that helps a lot. I think it would be really weird if I could, like, move my head position with up. It's it's still a teeny bit weird to do this, but it's not bad weird. Like, I don't know. It feels like you're controlling a mech you can't see or something. I would definitely say... Uh, the, the, uh, I'm just gonna... The video I'm going to try to do later, which is like a bunch of free VR stuff you can try first, that you should really test out before you even buy your first VR game, aside from, you know, whatever launch game you're going to buy. Speaking of VR launch games, uh-oh. Um, I wanted, the first thing I wanted to play was Res Infinite, and I am 8-bit, the store that uh, has Res Infinite physical copies. Um, they delayed them over two months. So that's also been part of why I haven't been doing so much VR, because I'm kind of bummed that the game I most wanted to play, I also really wanted to play Thumper and uh, Super Hypercube, but <laughs> freaking, I can't play Res Infinite. I still don't have it. It's just, it's, well, it's not December yet, but it'll be December by the time I get it, and that's just frustrating. 
But, um... This game is oddly relaxing. I do wish... Can I turn that sound effect down? I was kind of wondering. Sound. Ambience narration. Uh, I'm guessing that sound effects volume. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that, that sound is kind of loud for something that you're constantly hearing, right? Oh, hey. It's one of you. Gimme. Um... Wasn't I looking for crystal, though? I think there must be a... Uh oh Crystal somewhere here. You're a bit bouncy in this game. Um... I think it's just kind of intended. But it can feel a bit weird. I think the crystal must be all the way up top. I like the look of this game. It's, um... It's a bit lo-fi. It's a bit simple. Um... But... Things don't look bad up close, and that's something that, uh, Drive Club VR, you can kind of tell. It wasn't really designed for VR originally, the assets, and they kind of, they look weird. And not particularly great. I do wonder how it looks on PS4 Pro. Forever Alone. Okay. Can you speak up? Okie dokie. Are you gonna teleport me back? I guess... I guess not. Oh. I think that light means I can go back. Alright. Oh wait, first things first. Let's get to the very top, shall we? Anybody with vertigo is gonna wanna not watch what happens next. You won't believe what happens next! Um, I think I can reach that tree. Yeah, I can reach that tree. Whee. The falling never feels as bad as my brain kind of... I get kind of this twinge that, oh no, that's going to be bad. But it's never as bad as my brain kind of thinks. You get used to it pretty quick. At least I do. That's the, that's the thing. It, it's going to... Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Um, you're going to want to start with free VR stuff, and there's a demo disc for PSVR that you're going to want to... You just want to play all of the demo stuff, both because there's a lot of fun stuff and just because it lets you try out stuff and see what's too intense for you or what's not fun for you. And, um... Yeah, I personally found it turned out to be nothing, but I've heard, you know, Drive Club VR is usually the one people like, oh dang, that kind of makes me sick, because I mean, you're going fast. But personally, I, as Cheeto dog eating, or chili dog eating as I am, I gotta go fast, so uh, it doesn't really bother me, I guess. You know what's funny? Um, the, everybody talks about how setting up PSVR must be like crazy hard, it really isn't. Um, but I spent 20 minutes before this video messing with my HDMI splitter, which, if anybody knows a good 4x1 or more than 4x1 HDMI splitter that's really, really reliable and, like, professional quality, I am in the market for one of those, because mine, um, you have to lay it upside down for it to work. Um, everything has to be plugged in just soundly and snugly, um, and sometimes you just have to jiggle it around a little, and sometimes it just doesn't display to certain displays, and sometimes it displays little static bits. It's it's perfectly fine right now, and it'll probably break the moment Parker touches it five seconds after I finish this video. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be looking to replace that real soon. Um, if I even can. That's the problem. There's, there's so few HDMI splitters that I found. Oh, we gotta go back here, I guess? I'm actually really pleasantly surprised that this has not been uncomfortable really at all. The one, the weirdest thing I've experienced in VR is when I was in my rolly chair, um, like my PC desk chair, um, 
and I was playing uh, Playroom VR, and there's this um, on-rails platformer-ish sort of thing. Well, not quite on-rails, but you the camera only moves forward, and then you look around. Um, when the camera was moving forward on its own, I felt like my chair was rolling forward. And it was really weird. But it only does that in the ch when I'm in the chair. The brains are a strange thing. What is this? I guess we have... We've got timers. One minute. What? What is this? We got a race. We got a checkpoint race. What is this? I'm confused. This is at this point. I'm blind. I mean, I've never. Oh, there's a there's a little ship. And by little, I mean I mean big. Um, yeah. At this point, I have not played the game. Oh. There's no way somebody did this in one minute. There's no way. That's that's hacks. Somebody has hacks. I can see the strings. Um, what am I doing? Is this one of those parkour sections? Am I just grabbing life by the balls here? Is that what's happening here? I thought I was looking for crystals. These are orbs. Orbs are entirely different from crystals, my friends. They're much less pointy. Alright, grab, get the orb. Okay. Um, we're not gonna set any high scores. Spoilers. Um, how do I... I guess I'm going that way. Alright, this, this, this game is much more enjoyable after turning down the hook volume. It unfortunately made that narration really quiet before, but, which is weird because isn't... Yeah, narration volume is all the way up, so why was that not... Why was that quiet? When that dude was talking. You know what I mean. Oh well. Grab the tree, yes! Ow, my face. Ooh! There you go! Meant to do that. Oh dang, what? They're everywhere! Okay, what? Whoa. Uh... Cause there's one on. There's one on the pirate ship. Okay, this is. I was expecting this to be a bit more obvious than where we go. Oh, wow, that's gonna hurt. And impaled. Okay. Yeah, somebody. Somebody. I guess. I don't know. I guess maybe if you really knew exactly where to go, maybe. Maybe two minutes would be possible. I don't. Uh oh. I didn't fall like I thought I would. Okay. Huh? Uh... Oh, I know. I want to go up there. Let me grab the thing. Oh, dang! I can grab the thing. Okay. No, 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 let me up. Let me up. Yes. Oh, there's a thing down there. I'll get it later. Um. That's. That's not what I meant to do. Um. Whatever, I'll, I'll just get this one. Four more? Four more. Where are they? I feel like a map or something before you started out might have helped. This ship looks expensive. Um. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Kind of sliding. Okay. Where do I go? This timer, I I do not welcome this timer. It 
It feels rude. Like, there's no way I was going to beat any of those scores, right? So why present me the timer my first time through? I'm not that competitive. Oh. Come on. There we go. How do I get up there? I guess this way. I think this is exactly where I was before I decided to get the one on the pirate ship. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Where does respawning take me? Oh! That is actually incredibly useful. I should have tried that sooner. the other ones. Okay. There's three more? Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. Oh! Oh, okay. How do you get up there? I guess you gotta go around the side of the tree. Reach that. No! Nope. Oh! Close. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Alright, not, not too bad. That shining sound sounds very Spyro-ish. I feel like I'm gonna, like, unlock one of the new, like, dragon dudes in Spyro. Man, now I want to play Spyro. Why'd you bring that up? Me. Damn it, me. I hate that guy. He's a jerk. Makes me do things like jump into a freaking pit. I'm kind of glad that terminal velocity is kind of low. You never feel, at least I never feel, like I'm gonna hurl. Um, it was on this ship, right? Uh, there we go. No, no, get, get up there. There you go. Oop. Okay. Is this a parkour section? I still don't understand where- it, wh wh I thought I was getting crystals. This better not be optional. Cause this... I didn't do this for nothing, right? Why is the t counter still going? Ah! You have to go to the end too? I guess that unlocked the crystal? I'm, I'm confused. This- my Lido narrative is so dissonant right now. Uh oh. It's probably bad. Oh gosh. Uh, how do I. Okay. Uh. I heard somebody say that Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy brings Ludo narrative distance to an art form, and they mean that as a compliment, and I'm very curious as to what the heck they mean by that, but I'm also very interested in playing that game in general. Please, please, yes! Triumph. Um, I bought it, it's still, it's in my kitchen unwrapped, or wrapped, rather, not unwrapped. Ooh, okay, you kind of slide a little bit, you're a teeny bit floatier than I might, like, Sometimes. I mean, it makes sense you make the big jumps. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of starting to redoubt that somebody can do all this in one minute. I, I, I need to see the speed run. I need to see them. I need to see that real-time attack, my friends. Oh, frick. Can you imagine VR speedruns? I guess... I guess not really that different to the speedrunner, because, I mean... 
you know, you're doing crazy stuff all the time if you're a speedrunner. Aw, oh, don't be like that. I'm just barely out of reach. Aw, oh, no! Let me grab the thing. I just wanted to grab a thing. Oh, no! No! Oh, fuck. Oh. I'm trying to swear a bit less, but, uh... Sometimes they slip out there. Okay. Sometimes I swear at Cuss Cuss, I'm sorry. I just don't want to be one of those angry gamer dudes that are like, Brah! Brah! Etc. You know, like, AVGN was like... I don't think people understood that that was like a character, and that was like, you know, that was absurdity. You know, it wasn't like, you know, this is the standard of discourse for YouTube now. But then it kind of ended up being that way. Also, when you look down, it does feel a bit... Oh, hello, Z Fighting. Um... It does feel a bit weird to see those little things. Um, alright. I just forgot I was playing a video game for a second. Alright, up we go. Weird VR tip. Um, wear one less, like, unit of clothing than you usually would. I'm wearing, like, I was... Ugh. It was warm enough for a sweatshirt um, before I started playing, but, but VR sort of... It keeps in your head heat, I guess, which is kind of just enough to make you feel a little bit. So, do, do I get a crystal? What, what, what was that? Well, I still don't understand what that was. I'm a little... Oh, I did that for nothing. I don't get a crystal? I don't get a crystal? I didn't even get a Chivo. Actually, I don't know if I got a Chivo. The, 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 there's not a pop-up. In VR, when you get an achievement on PlayStation. Um, so was... Hold on. Was I supposed to go over somewhere else? What is that? Oh. Those are the little thingies I got, right? Yeah, so I guess I'm putting together a little mural. Where, where's... The, where? I don't understand. Cause that was not open. Do I go back to the pedestal and is there something there now? I'm confused. No? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, that looks dangerous. Um. Was there... Huh? Maybe there's another crystal in the big place. But yeah, I think that's... That's a bit enough of a VR session for me for one night. Um, that... Yeah, that is... Uh, that is... What is that? Windlands! Sorry, I always forget there's another... There's two wind games that are entirely unrelated for VR, and I didn't want to say the wrong one. See, so yeah, there's Windlands. Let me... Yeah, th there must be another thing in here. Right? Uh, th uh, there must have been a way I didn't go. Come on now. Oh. Did I go? Which way did I go? I went up that way. I'm guessing there's a crystal. Oh, there's a crystal up there. Oh, there's two crystals. Oh, okay. Okay, that was that the that was just like an optional thing I did. Oh well. But yeah, that was, that is Windlands. Um, I'll probably be doing a bunch more uh, VR videos soonish. Um, probably just you know one-off quick looks like this um, to see what we got going on. But yeah, I uh, I've been really pleasantly surprised at how just they really managed to make pretty traditional controls work like this. Where's Parker? I see you. Well, I don't see you, but yes, hello.